million years. Yes, Alan reminded me of that every time he would pop by at the lodge and watch me play couch potato. Oh, listen, you couldn't ski on that leg, darling. You should have seen us, Grandma. We went right down Diablo. And Thunderball. What the devil's Diablo and Thunderball? It was great. I went flying down. They're ski runs, and those are just the mild ones. Yeah. <laughs> Next year, I'm doing Maniac's Leap. Oh, do be careful, my dear. Uh, Alan, did you go on the, uh, any of those runs? Well, I was going to do Maniac's Leap, but unfortunately, I had to look after the boys. <laughs> Look after us. Dad fell down the big lift line. Oh, no, you didn't. I was tripped. I was a little kid. Hubby, get out. It was icy. It was icy. It was icy. Listen, haven't you two finished your cocoa yet? Alan, come go on. Go on, go on. Don't you want to get him upstairs, really, Monica? I mean, they haven't had a bath in a week. <laughs> well, this is sort of true, actually. I think, yes, you should go on upstairs and take a bath. We can talk about this at dinner. Okay. Do we have hey, to? Hey, boys, I hear a hot rumor that we're having fried chicken for dinner. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Move them out. Let's go. Move them out. Tuck them on. Move them out. Tuck them on. Get upstairs. Here we go. Well, I think I'd better go on up and make sure they don't flood the place. <laughs> It was a fantastic holiday. The place was great. It was fun to be with the kids. And, ah, John, no, the whole town just lit up like some kind of fantasy story out of Christmas. I really wish that life could be like this all the time, Monica. Well, my sweetness, if it was, we'd still find a way to screw it up. Oh, come on, Monica. Don't go <laughs> sour on me now that we're home. No, I am not going sour on you. I'm very happy that you had a good time and you could shut your mind off. I wish I could do it. But unfortunately, the reality is that the shareholders' meeting of HTI is soon to be upon us. If you don't have $12 million or one terrific explanation, you could very easily wind up in prison. Damn it, Alan. I'll miss you. Uh, sir, I didn't want to intrude, but uh, there's a message for you. Listen, if it isn't an amnesty and a full pardon, I'm not interested. It was a call from Miss Autumn. She asked me to tell you that she would like you to call her. Autumn, where is she? The Port Charles Hotel, sir. Right. 